welcome to my channel and i'm back with you once again with another video of microsoft flight simulator 24. nowadays i'm making a series of videos for the enables airbus a320 neo for the bigness and in this regard this is going to be another video in which i will just tell you about the cockpit lights this video is for the bigness and uh, i will just keep things really simple because as a beginner i know what are your struggles uh, because i've been through it so that's why i will just uh, tell you uh, all the controls for the lights in the cockpit so right now I'm doing this short flight from Riyadh to Bahrain and uh, let me just adjust the time. First of all, I will change the time to night and uh, let's tell you a few things about this cockpit. Okay, so if you need the flashlight in the cockpit, then you have the control alternate F and then you have the flashlight. So if you cannot see in the night, you have alternate F for this. Great. Now there is another control. I will just show you over here. This is known as the dome light. So this has got two positions, dim and bright. So if I move it to dim, you will see there will be dim light in the cockpit. And if I move it to bright, it will become really bright. So this actually light is required when you are in the parking so that uh, you can see the things clearly and plus uh, the ground crew uh, can also see you. But uh, thrust lever is not in the climb position. Let me just adjust the thrust lever. Okay. So uh, after the pushback, when you are ready to taxi, you turn off this light because obviously uh, it's too bright inside and you cannot see outside and then you don't need uh, the ground crew to look at you. So you can just turn off this light during this flight. Now I will just uh, change the time a bit because you know one time I ended up making a video in the night people got really angry <laughs> we cannot see anything <laughs> okay so I think this is oh the cockpit looks horrible in this light let me just adjust it again the plane moves actually with the time the wind changes so that's fine so let's uh, I think let's keep it keep it over here yeah this is good now let's uh, start with the primary flight display and the navigation display you have controls over here for the primary flight display this is the primary flight display and this is the navigation display you can move this knob to change the brightness of the screen and uh, for the navigation display you can just change it similarly uh, for the co-pilot you can see that you have the control for the primary flight display and then you have it for the navigation display. So you can change the brightness. Now, uh, this is the secondary display for the PFT. You can also change its brightness. For the MCDU, you see this uh, button which says bright and dim. So you can just move it to change the brightness of the screen. Similarly, you can do it over here. Now you have electronic centralized aircraft monitor, which is ECAM, the upper one and the lower one. And these are the controls for the brightness of the ECAM. And you can change the brightness. Then you have two knobs over here below the FCU, which is the flight control unit. You can change the brightness of the display and plus the backlight for the FCU and for the EFIS. So if I move this, knob you can see the backlight is gone and you can adjust it accordingly and plus uh, for the displays you have this control great now there are two more controls over here uh, this is actually the floodlight for these panels so i will just move this control and you can see the brightness changes i keep it like this usually during the flight then this is the light for the pedestal, the backlight. You can just change it. Then there is another control. You have a floodlight for the pedestal. If you look at this control, if you cannot see anything over here, you can just change it. So during the flight, I just uh, keep it like this so that it's easy for me to look at the controls. And uh, one more knob over here. Uh, this knob 
you can see for the overhead panel you can change the brightness of the overhead panel so that's it so it was plus uh, i think you yes you have controls for this uh, for these lights for the captain and for the first officer even if you want them you can just turn on this light also in the back this is also a good light if you need it you can just turn it on for reading maps and different documents you can see the slide is there that's it so this was a short video i just wanted to uh, show you all the lights uh, for the cockpit uh, for the airbus a320 neo uh, if you have got any questions uh, you can ask me in the comment section or if you want to add anything to this video the comment section is there for you thank you very much for staying with me have a nice day hope to see you soon